I, I can see the audience tonight, so I can see also from the size of it, which last time was a black spot in front of my eyes, that, that there must be many of you here who are not thoroughly familiar with physics. And also a number that uh, are not too versed in mathematics, and I don't doubt that there are some who know neither physics nor mathematics very well. That puts a considerable challenge on a speaker who is going to speak on the relation of physics and mathematics, a challenge which I, however, will not accept. I published the, the title of the talk clear, in clear and precise language and didn't make it sound like it was something it wasn't. It's the relation of physics and mathematics. And if you find that in some spots it assumes some minor knowledge of physics or mathematics, I cannot help it that it was named uh, in thinking of the applications of mathematics to physics, it's perfectly natural that the mathematics will be useful when large numbers are, are involved in complex situations. 